A car filled with a rifle, ammo, and a suppressor, along with water bottles filled with bleach and ammonia. What would you be doing with those items in your car except getting ready to do something bad? The car, the supplies, and the suspect discovered nearby Greenwood Park Mall. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon has more on this developing story that police are calling a case of planned domestic terror. Good afternoon. It's a case that's even stunned prosecutors about what they say the 31-year-old man had planned to do right here at the Greenwood Park Mall in Johnson County. We're talking about 31-year-old Christopher Byrne, who's now behind bars. Police arrested him two weeks ago on August 15th outside of the Greenwood Park Mall. Police say they found weapons inside of his car. But get this, right now he's only facing traffic violation charges unless he's charged by federal prosecutors. Outside the Greenwood Park Mall, police say they found Byrne driving, quote, suspiciously. So they pulled him over. Inside of his trunk, police say they found a rifle along with hundreds of bullets, a gun scope, along with water bottles with bleach and ammonia. Investigators say the chemicals in those bottles, if combined, could form a toxic cloud or pose some type of explosive danger. He lived in the South Side area with his grandmother in a community that neighbors describe him as quiet and that he kept to himself. Johnson County Deputy Prosecutor says the ATF is now putting together a case to take to federal prosecutors. Well, these are some pretty strong allegations. The question remains about Burns' motive. As a deputy prosecuting attorney, I get threatened. It happens. Um, you know, and I am very careful to protect myself. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, my uh, fellow deputy prosecuting attorney and I, who were working on the case, this really sent a jolt through us. Byrne is now being held without bond, and this isn't his first arrest. Last year, he's charged with stealing police gear, including a rifle. Again, right now, he's only facing traffic charges, but again, the case is expected to be turned over to federal prosecutors. So at this time, there's no initial court date set, while people here in Johnson County continue to learn more about these charges while the investigation continues. I'm Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.